ready to run. 21.40 ahead of them. There they go, the St. Pat's Cup fielder on their journey now. Jumping out OK, Chestnut Thunder from near the inside. He's going to be prominent. Also rolling forward was continuation in the early stages. Montal Barno's there as well. Here's Warrior Zena from wider out. Cooper's adamant to be forward and he's going to be just about in front as they greet the judge on the first occasion and he slides across and takes them there. Montal Barno's in second spot. They've got to touch tight for a stride. Continuation's third. Buffalo Bill scrapes paint the inside. Will it to the touch wider as they run to the mile. Next in running was Chestnut Thunder, who's ended up three back on the inside for Jaggard. Dreambound three quarters away to its outer. Second to last was Do It In Purple. And the last one was Dash Rip Rocket in this order. They worked their way to the back in the St. Pat's Cup. Taking them there was Warrior Zena, who led out to in second place in Montalbano. And they go along at a decent enough clip in the cup. They're two and a half lengths of in third place in Buffalo Bill. Continuations had a good run. One out, one back in fourth. They scoot along. The best part of four, maybe five to Willets. Chest up, thunders to its inside. Then came Dreambound, do it in purple. And Dash Rip Rock is going to have to come from last. In this sort of the cup field, charge along the back of the track. Warrior Zena with the lightweight runs along. A neck the margin. In second place, in was Montalbano as they worked down the side of the course. Continuations had a good run as in third place. In. Buffalo Bills in fourth. Chestnut Thunder over on the inside and Willets. That you are yet to be called upon, giving the speed the best part of six. Then came Dream Bound, Dash Rip Rock, and Do It In Purple, whipped them in. It's been run right along at a good clip. In front was Montalbano, who goes and strides up with Warrior Zena. Then came Continuation, who's had a good run behind the speed, but starting to feel the pinch. Then came Willits, who's into the clear. Chestnut Thunder about to angle out as well. It's coming with Dream Bound with their runs together. Into the straight, Willits coming out after it was Dream Bound. Chestnut Thunder was the one who's wider out. Willets in front with 200 to go. Dreambound won't lie down. Chestnut Thunder would need to lift. Willets is in front and travelling beautifully. Two lengths in front and he's running away. Kirkpatrick's right at a treat and Willets, your St. Pat's Cup winner, goes on and wins and wins at a canter. Beats Dreambound Buffalo Bill. Then came next over the line would have been continuation. Chestnut Thunder. Then we had Montel Barno do it in purple. Warrior Zena. Dash Rip Rock, the last one home. Willets in a dominant display and after finishing second in the Yay Cup they had some unfinished business they come back and take the St Pat's Cup glory with a 10 out of 10 ride from Craig Kirkpatrick who has ridden Willets perfectly the eight will win and do so ahead of Dream Bound in second, but it was no match the winner. And a good price for those who found it as well. The best part of $7 bet for Willets. Well done to Aileen Vanderfeen and the Kirkpatrick family. They can celebrate this one. Willets, who's been a relatively new addition to the stable. That's now two wins and a minor placing here in the Yay Cup. He's been a beauty for them. And the way that he's put that field away today, he might have a bit more to say as the picnic season rolls on. Eight, six, four, one. Eight, six, four and one will go in the frame. Eight, six, four and one on the cup. Willits does it ahead of Dreambound in second spot. Buffalo Bill in third. Fourth in one, Chestnut Thunder. But Willits... It was a patient ride, caught a touch wide as they ran out of the straight for the first time, but he didn't panic. He was able to find a spot midfield off what was a good clip. He set it alight early. He knew what he had underneath him, and it was always going to be hard to run down, and Willits has done it well. We'll have margin shortly, but it was a widening margin. Dreambound wasn't eating into the deficit. He's a gelding by Shocking, who's won by three and a half officially. Three and a half by five. They've really cleared out. And 2.12.66, which for the third time today is a new track record. 2.12.66, a former track record of 2.12.89. So they can save at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, your St. Pat's Cup winner coming back to scale. Put your hands together for Craig Kirkpatrick and Willets, who are crowned the St. Pat's Cup winners.
at Yay this afternoon. Kirkers can enjoy this one. And rightfully so. He's ridden it beautifully out of the delight of Aileen Vanderfeen, I'm sure. And the Kirkpatrick family. Owned by Craig and Stacey and Abby and Aileen as well. They get to savour the moment. And Willits goes home best. He's a gelding by shocking out of a Shinko King mare. He's really bred to do his best work at these distances. Any wonder he was strong at the line today. And Willits, who was a maiden when he joined their care, has now been able to win two of his last four races. A runner-up in the Yay Cup. And he now adds the St. Pat's Cup to his mantle after what was a dominant display when he broke through at Merton on New Year's Day. He's gone in the space of a month and a half from being a maiden winner to being a cup winner. He's been perfectly prepared. And well done to Aileen Vanderfeen and Craig Kirkpatrick. They love coming to Yay and they'll enjoy lifting the cup aloft today. Number eight, Willits, goes home best. Ahead of number six, Dreambound for Belinda Simpson at Bass and Lee Taylor, a mare by So You Think who continues to race well, a runner-up in the Willamai Cup, now a runner-up in the St. Pat's Cup at Yea. 13 has gone the way of four, Buffalo Bill, who's raced well. He's probably on his way to a jumps campaign for Eric Musgrove and Marie Melody Pomeray, a high shaft gelding, and fourth in one, Chestnut Thunder. Eight, six, four, and one. It was a widening three and a half by five, two, twelve, sixty-six, a new track record winning time. And an all honours display to Willits, Aileen Vanderfeen, and Craig Kirkpatrick, the stars of the show today.